Let's use our skills to rename fractions and play a game. It's called Fraction Flip. And this game can be played in a group of anywhere from two to four players. To play a game of Fraction Flip, each group needs a set of fraction cards. And that's it. In this group, there are three players. The first step is to cut out those fraction cards. And now, we're ready to play. To begin the game, mix up the cards and lay them face down in rows. Have you ever played the game Memory? Well, Fraction Flip is just like Memory, but with a bit of a twist. You see, in Fraction Flip, you're not just trying to find two cards that match, you're trying to find two cards that are equivalent. Let's take a look. Start the game by picking one player to go first. The first player flips over two cards, four-sixths and one-third. They ask themselves, are those fractions equivalent? Hmm. They think to themselves, what are the nicknames for one-third? One-third, two-sixths. Nope. One-third is not equivalent to four-sixths. So they flip the cards back over. Now it's the next player's turn. Player two flips a card. Three-ninths. Player two thinks to themselves, Hmm, have I seen an equivalent fraction to three-ninths? Yes, one-third is a nickname for three-ninths. But where was it? Player two tries to remember where that card was. They flip over that spot, and yes, it's a match. Player two keeps those cards, and they get to go again. The game continues this way with the players taking turns. If they get a match, they go again. If they don't get a match, it's the next player's turn. The game ends when there are no cards remaining. This game has just finished. Each player has a pile with their matching cards. Let's find out how many matches each player has, and that will determine the winner. Player 1 has 4 matches. Player 2 has 5 matches. And Player 3 has 3 matches. Player 2 is the winner. But don't worry if you didn't win this time. Just keep trying. You'll get them next time. And now you're ready to play Fraction Flip.